To wash day with fresh aloe vera plant, for my shampoo, I will be using Jane Carter's Hydrate and Invigorate and Shampoo, TGIN's Moisture Rich Sulfate Free Shampoo. For my conditioner, I will be using Suave's Tropical Coconut. Now, my leave in, I will be doing this off cam, but I wanted to show you what I'll be using. I will be using Cream of Danger's leave in and Garnier Fruit Tea's Sleek and Shine leave in, along with my hair oil mixture, which you guys, this still has a little bit of the fenugreek oil in it. So, girl, let's go ahead and get started. Yes, I got an attitude because I don't like getting in the shower like this. So, you guys, my hair is not separated. It is de is not detangled. And so, I'm going to be using the aloe vera plant right now to go ahead and help with separating my hair to get ready for the cleansing process. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, it's not as tangled, but it definitely could have been detangled before getting into the shower. And, yes, my hair is loose. And, yes, I typically do separate my hair when cleansing my um, my hair. So again, using the fresh aloe, fresh aloe vera plant along my ends and within my hair. And let me tell you something, it was awesome. So y'all, first shampoo is the TGIN's Moisture Rich Shampoo. I love this shampoo. I've been using this now for about three years off and on. Um, but anyway, like I was stating earlier, I typically do like to also cleanse my hair in sections or typically cleanse my hair while it is in braids or plaits. Um, but this time, girl, I, I was not caring. I just wanted to go ahead and jump in the shower and shampoo my hair. So yes, you guys, I'm using the aloe vera plant um, and just rub it along my hair strands. If I were to do this again, which more than likely I will, I would definitely want to cut up the aloe vera plant and parade it before getting to the shower. So you're just going to see me here cleansing my hair with the TGIN and then I'm going to follow up the Jane Carter shampoo. you guys so I typically do like to shampoo my hair twice and because I am a product junkie I like to use two different shampoos just my preference going in with the suave conditioner I'm gonna kill this entire jar typically I like to get the family size yeah so I'm just smoothing conditioner along my hair strands and then applying in the aloe vera I found that honestly it was probably best to use the aloe vera plant first and then put the conditioner on top um if i were to do this again like i said i would definitely would do it again that's the steps i would follow is applying the aloe vera plant and then follow up with the conditioner itself All right, you guys. So yeah, I was pleasantly surprised using the aloe vera plant, but you know what? 
I will say, like the past year or so, I've gone back to using many of the products that I initially was using when I first went natural 10 years ago, like the, the Bora Vatica Deep Conditioners, which by the way, I will be coming back with four of those reviews for y'all. But anyway, going back to the products that I used to use before I got swept in into the hype of getting all of these products and trying them and doing all of these different, you know, steps to my hair that are necessary, not necessary. Um, and my hair is thriving. So definitely go back to what you used to use. Girl, do not get it into the hype. I think that's kind of slowed down some in these YouTube streets. This is no shade to anyone, but it's kind of died down some. So yes, my hair is thriving and it is showing. Um, I would highly recommend this. Again, you know, just very, very simple process. Now for me personally, I would probably just use it during the conditioning process or the pre poo So yes, you guys this is it i'm just gonna cleanse my hair out excuse me cleanse the conditioner out stay tuned girl for some bloopers okay so thank y'all so much for watching take care bye bye all those cats just soaking around start catching my blood just staying still i hate everyone right now except jesus jesus and jamie